Changing thinking is a normative process. Quite literally changing norms, changing beliefs, changing our assumptions. It is not by comparison a rational process. I explain, communicate, teach or train and you listen. It may seem odd, but let's look at what happens when systems ideas are explained. I'm going to introduce you to Haley. She runs a sales organisation. When she first met Vanguard people, they explained that 95% of her people's performance was down to the system, the way the work works. Just watch this and see how she reacted. So, um, my first introduction to systems thinking um, was to be handed the book um, and be told, go away, read the book, learn about systems thinking because next week you're going to go onto a project um, to understand how we implement it into our business. Um, so I, I read the book um, and the book makes sense. So I think there was some real common sense in there and, and there were definitely some moments of, my God, you know, that this um, is quite revolutionary, I guess. Why have we not thought about these things before? Uh, until I got to the bit where it talks about the 95-5. So 95% um, of it is the system and your people, in my head, I read that as, your people are only making 5% of the difference. Um, so, you know, I, I go to the, the fundamentals course with reservations, I guess, around how it will work in such a target-driven organisation. Um, and so on our fundamentals, um, Barry and John start talking to us about the 95.5 and, and start um, basically, um, I guess, challenging everything that I've believed um, in, in the past in that I've um, worked in sales my whole life. I started as an advisor. Um, I've been a coach, a trainer, a leader in that sales system and have genuinely believed that in that time I've made a difference. So I have been effective at coaching my people. Um, I have been effective, you know, effective at spotting um, those people problems and, and managing it. So, um, you know, and, and I know that there's some people that are really good at sales and some people that really need coaching to, to improve that performance. Um, so, you know, I, I have these reservations on, on the fundamentals that these two guys are telling me that um, what I've believed in, in all this time is wrong. Um, and so I, I go away from this course and think, do you know what, I don't, I don't get it. I don't think that in a sales driven organisation where we um, have a plan, and I know that that plan doesn't change, um, that this 95.5 is, is actually true in a sales organisation. So um, I go away and think, do you know what, I'm going to prove this wrong. You know, I genuinely believe I'll get out there and, and I will be able to prove to John that the stuff that he's telling me isn't right. Um, so I start by um, looking at our sales calls. And I take 50 um, calls at, at random um, so that I can show that variation of performance um, and ability across our people. And I listen to those 50 calls and out of those calls, only two of them could I put down to the person influencing that customer's decision. Hayley is a perfectly normal human being. Look at how she reacted to an idea that offended her worldview. How did she learn the truth? To her, a counterintuitive truth. Now, the Vanguard method reveals many counterintuitive truths. If you try to explain them to managers, they often react exactly the way Haley did. When managers see the truths for themselves through studying their organisation as a system, their thinking changes. The best way to change thinking is by doing. It's hard to deny the evidence when you see it. Change is a normative process.